David Tro with Compass, and I'm with Douglas Wargo at Public Wine, one of the newest additions to downtown Lafayette. And so, Doug, I'm actually hoping you can kind of give us an idea of what the concept is behind Public Wine and what people can expect when they come visit you. Absolutely. So when we opened this shop up, I knew I definitely wanted to focus on European wine, but as we've sort of built out the selection, I found some really great domestic producers, producers from the Western Hemisphere in general, but we still definitely do have a focus on European wine. The other thing that I was really, it was really important to me is providing economically priced bottles. So I don't like to say cheap wine, but affordable Affordable. Wine. Exactly. So we have 50 bottles under 20 bucks, a really wide selection under 30. I don't think you have to spend an arm and a leg to get a really great bottle of wine for a weeknight dinner. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, your shop is, is terrific. And so maybe you can give us a quick overview of how you've laid things out. Totally. So in this front room, we kind of rotate this selection based on newer exciting wines that we've just brought in or things that we really want to feature different winemakers come through town and we like to kind of show them a little bit of love up in the front room yeah and then the full selection is in the back so the way I've got things organized back here is mostly geographically European red wines are all along this back wall here basically going from west to east. So we've got everything from Portugal all the way around to Greece and the country of Georgia. In the center here are all my New World Reds, United States over here, and then an awful lot of South African, South American, New Zealand wines. So a little bit of something from all over the world. And then whites are behind you and over in the cooler to keep them cold. Excellent. So what actually brought you to decide on the location here in Lafayette? Well, my partner is originally from Colorado and she's lived in Lafayette for about eight years. Oh. So when I moved out she here, knew. she knew the spot for sure. <laughs> Finding this space was really what kind of took the idea of the project from just an idea that you talk about and kind of, you know, mull over to really something that we could actually make a reality. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And are there any kind of things that you've particularly enjoyed about Lafayette and the community that you've since you've been here? You know, it's been really great just getting to know people from Old Town. Um, we've got a really nice kind of collection of regulars that come in. I get to know their taste and sort of walk them through our selection. And as far as, you know, things that are coming up with uh, public wine, are there any things that you want to promote, kind of share that you do? Um, yeah, 100%. We do a weekly tasting every Thursday. It's always free. Happens at four, runs until six o'clock. Very so, nice, very nice. Free wine is a hard thing to pass up. Every Thursday night. Every Thursday evening, yeah. Right. We are in summertime. Yes. It's gotten very hot. Do you have a recommendation for summertime, backyard, parties, or even just an evening glass of wine in the summer? Absolutely, quite a few. Quite a few? As you might suspect. All right. But my real go-to for summertime fun wine is a liter of Austrian Gruner Velliner. All it's right. crisp, mineral driven, super refreshing. Then if you wanted to do something maybe for dinner, after the sun goes down, this is a Gamay and Pinot Noir blend from a winery called Pretel in Oregon. It's light enough to kind of keep you from getting too weighed down on a hot summer night, but still really light and refreshing. And finally, hey. my personal favorite is Sancerre, Sancerre Rosé. Yeah. If I had to take one case of wine to a desert island, it would be this one. That's quite the uh, quite the testament for it. Yeah. Very good. Well, Doug, I mean, I love coming in here, like I said. I'm excited to see that you got a Thursday night wine tasting happening. Absolutely. And we're stoked that you're actually part of this community. So All right. congratulations and welcome. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope to see you at a tasting. <laughs> Absolutely.